Life in the UK Test Mock Exam for British Citizenship Guideline of Life in the UK Test The test comprises 24 multiple-choice questions to be completed within 45 minutes. It covers a range of topics, including UK history, government, law, society, and culture. To pass, applicants must achieve a minimum score of 75%, equivalent to 18 correct answers. Upon passing, applicants receive a pass notification, which remains valid indefinitely. In the event of failure, applicants can retake the test after a waiting period of seven days, with the requisite fee payable for each attempt. Successfully passing the life in the UK test is a pivotal milestone in the naturalization process for attaining British citizenship or securing settlement status. Are you ready? Let's start. Question 1. What are two responsibilities that you will have as a British citizen or permanent resident of the UK? To look after the area in which you live and the environment. To look after yourself and your family. To stay in the UK forever. To promote work in your local community. Look after yourself and your family, and look after the area in which you live and the environment. If you wish to be a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, you should. Look after yourself and your family. Look after the area in which you live and the environment. Respect and obey the law, respect the rights of others, including their right to their own opinions and treat others with fairness. Question 2. Where is Big Ben located? Buckingham Palace. The Tower of London. Trafalgar Square. The Houses of the Parliament. The Houses of Parliament. Big Ben is the colloquial name for the Elizabeth Tower, housing the iconic clock at the Houses of Parliament in London. Question 3. When were men and women given the right to vote at the age of 21? 1918. 1903. 1928. 1923. In 1928, women were given the right to vote at the age of 21, the same as men. Where is the UK geographically located? Southwest of Europe. Northeast of Europe. Northwest of Europe. Southeast of Europe. The UK is located in the northwest of Europe. Question 5. Who is the patron saint of Scotland? Saint David, Saint Patrick, Saint George, Saint Andrew. Saint Andrew. The patron saint of Scotland is Saint Andrew. Question 6. Which two houses fought in the Wars of the Roses? The House of Chester. The House of York. The House of Lancaster. The House of Newcastle. The Wars of the Roses were fought between the supporters of two families, the House of Lancaster and the House of York. Question 7. The Bill of Rights of 1689 confirmed the right to vote for all adult men. True. False. False. The Bill of Rights, 1689, confirmed the rights of Parliament and the limits of the King's power. Question 8. What is the Cenotaph? A flower. A Christian church. A war memorial. 
a theatre. The Cenotaph is a war memorial and it is the site of the annual Remembrance Day service attended by the King, politicians, and foreign ambassadors. Question 9. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the UK? Mary Stewart Theresa May Margaret Thatcher Florence Nightingale Margaret Thatcher was the first woman Prime Minister of the UK. Question 10. Who chairs the debates at the House of Commons? A bishop. The Prime Minister. The Speaker. The Archbishop of Canterbury. The Speaker. Debates in the House of Commons are chaired by the Speaker. Question 11. Who was the captain of the English football team that won the World Cup in 1966? Sir Roger Bannister. Sir Jackie Stewart. Sir Ian Botham. Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore captained the English football team that won the World Cup in 1966. Question 12. When did the English defeat the Spanish Armada? In 1466. In 1066. In 1254. In 1588. In 1588 the English defeated the Spanish Armada. Question 13. Anyone can make a complaint about the police by writing to the chief constable of the police force involved. True. False. This statement is true. Anyone can make a complaint about the police by writing to the chief constable of the police force involved. Question 14. What is the minimum age required to serve on a jury? 16. 18. 21. 25. 18. Anyone who is on the electoral register and is aged 18 to 70 can be asked to serve on a jury. Question 15. How is a jury selected? From the NHS registration system. Randomly from the electoral register. Alphabetically from the telephone directory. From a postcode selection. Randomly from the electoral register. As well as getting the right to vote. People on the electoral register are randomly selected to serve on a jury. Anyone who is on the electoral register and is aged 18 to 70 can be asked to do this. Question 16. What is a bank holiday? A public holiday when banks are open all day. A public holiday for people working in banks. An additional day off that every worker in the UK is entitled to. A public holiday when banks and many other businesses are closed for the day. There are public holidays each year called bank holidays, when banks and many other businesses are closed for the day. Question 17. What will you be given to vote before a general election takes place? A ballot slip. A poll card. A voting slip. A poll tax relief. A poll card. Before the election you will be sent a poll card. Question 18. 
which of the following statements is correct? Solicitors' charges are usually based on how much time they spend on a case. Solicitors' charges are usually based on the nature of a case and its importance. Solicitors' charges are usually based on how much time they spend of a case. Question 19. By law, which TWO types of media have to give a balanced coverage of all political parties and equal time to rival viewpoints before an election? Television. Internet. Newspapers. Radio. Television and radio. By law, radio and television coverage of the political parties must be balanced and so equal time has to be given to rival viewpoints. Question 20. Which of the following territories is a Crown dependency but is not part of the UK? Northern Ireland. Wales. The Channel Islands. Scotland. The Channel Islands is a British overseas territory linked to the UK, but it is not part of it. Question 21. What did Sir Frank Whittle invent in the 1930s? Radar. Hovercraft. Jet engine. Ballpoint pen. The jet engine was developed in Britain in the 1930s by Sir Frank Whittle. Question 22. Who wrote The Daffodils? William Blake. Robert Browning. Lord Byron. William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth. The British poet William Wordsworth wrote, The Daffodils. Question 23. Who was given the title of Lord Protector? Charles I. Charles II. Winston Churchill. Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell was given the title of Lord Protector and ruled until his death in 1658. Question 21. What are the 40 days before Easter called? Diwali. Lent. Hanukkah. Vaisakhi. Lent. The 40 days before Easter are known as Lent. Kindly reminder. Review all answers thoroughly before submitting the test. Familiarize yourself with the format and structure of the test beforehand. Use study materials and practice tests to prepare adequately. Arrive at the test center on time and bring all necessary identification documents. Stay calm and focused during the test and manage your time wisely to answer all questions. What score did you achieve? You can pass the Life in the UK test with a score of 18 or higher out of 24 questions. Let's try another Life in the UK test exam. Good luck! The end.